In this video, we're going to explore the concept of bit patterns and the fact that a single bit pattern could actually be representing many different things. So we live in an analog world. All of our perceptions from sound to touch and sight can be measured on a continuous sinuating line. Take this simple example of turning a light on and off again. To us, it might appear that the light immediately changes from one state to another. If we could slow time down, however, we would notice a gradual increase of light followed by a gradual decrease, which can be represented by the curved line. Digital systems, such as computing devices, don't operate like this. In our digital representation, this light exists in one of two binary states, either on or off, and it switches instantly between them, as shown here. So let's remind ourselves what binary is. A binary digit, or bit, is a zero or a one. Having just two states makes it simple to build electronic devices that use these two states. For example, in RAM, data can be represented with capacitors. They either hold a charge, one, or they don't hold a charge, zero. Having further states would make the components more difficult to build and potentially more prone to error. Data on hard disk can be stored using magnetism with north and south polarity representing one or zero. Data on optical disks can be stored such that light from laser can either be reflected from the surface or not, zero or one. And data on memory sticks can be stored by trapped electrons or free electrons, zero or one. So have you ever asked yourself the question, what exactly is 01100110 or indeed any sequence of binary digits? When you first look at it, you probably think, well, that has to represent something. That's probably a number. But as you've learned from the previous part of this video, everything in a computing system has to be stored as a series of zeros and ones, for example, high and low voltages. This pattern of bits could actually represent many different things. It all depends how we interpret it. So for example, if we shoved those pattern of bits 01100110 through the ASCII character set, what would pop out would be the lowercase letter F. The exact same pattern of bits interpreted as a signed binary integer in two's complement would result in the number 102. Now, you don't need to understand at GCSE what a signed binary integer in two's complement is. The point here is exactly the same pattern of bits could be interpreted as an F or the number 102. And indeed, the same bit pattern could be interpreted in many different ways and could represent many different things. If this was a black and white image, which was using one bit to store each pixel, then this sequence of bits would represent eight black or white pixels. If this was a 24 bit color image, then this bit pattern could represent the value for the red, blue or green element of a single pixel. And if this was passed through a digital to analog converter, then this pattern of bits would represent part of an analog waveform that was coming out of a speaker. The point here is that there is no way of knowing what a particular pattern of bits actually represents until you know how to interpret that data.